Let's do it. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. All right, nice early head kick for the champ, Leon Edwards. He waited a little bit to throw that weapon against Kamaru back in the day. No hesitation here early in this one. He does a great job of setting this, this strike up. He doesn't throw it blindly. He's always putting something in front of the high kick that allowed for him to not only become the champion, but knock so many others out on his journey to becoming the best in the world. Oh, guillotine choke. Oh, oh that guillotine is officially tight. That is great submission defense. All right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Three cross the midpoint in round one. Edwards is back in full guard now. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Nice leg kick. Edwards goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get back. Oh, he smokes. Oh, Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let it off the hook like that. That leg kick hurt. Man, what a fight. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Ooh, found a home for that knee. 45 seconds remain in the round. 32 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Round two straight ahead. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Lee's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready? Second round here. Oh, Edwards goes high, and he does not miss with the head kick yet again. He does many times. When he throws that strike, he usually throws it with the intent to land it. He doesn't throw it as a feeler. He's so good at getting to this position, at getting to this head kick, that when he throws it, he intends to end your night. And once again, it lands. Oh, he's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh! Edwards is now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt. Oh, oh he's hurt. Big, big strikes continue to land. 
All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Edwards is in half guard now. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Oh, nice. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. In the half guard. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Look at it, look at it. Now, shoot, shoot. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Right calf now, you see it there, DC, with the welt. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Second. Great match, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. Oh, oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. He's out striking us, okay? So, just like we did in the gym, we're going to have to switch it up. I want you to go out there. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Let me see that hook now. Oh, a nice straight there by Edwards. Oh! That's good! Leon Edwards has done it! Oh, my goodness. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. What a moment for Leon Edwards. Another massive knockout. I'm not sure.